In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a web task and sync it into the desktop. First thing you want to do is sign into the website, and then you can go to Tasks, Open Tasks to see the open task list. From here, you can create a new task by hitting the New button. When it first opens, the first thing you need to do is select and or add a customer name. I'm going to add Alfonso's Pizza, and it will populate whatever information we have under this customer's detail when it creates the task. The next thing you want to do is assign that task to somebody. Actually, let me back up. The next thing you want to do is give this task a due date. Um, the due date can be changed at any time. So for now, we just need to at least give this a start date. I'm just going to select today's date. However, you could hit the drop down, select a different date. The system will log it. The next step is to assign this to somebody. Maybe we want a uh, Route 1 driver to do this task at some point. We can then scroll down, and you can select a task type if you have one already preset, or you can just type in a description. Um, maybe we need to go out and replace a pool pump or do some other type of work. It doesn't matter. Just put in a basic description, and if there's a lot of additional information you need to add. Do it in the task specific notes area. This is for all of your extra information. And then of course we also have a resolution. You probably won't have a resolution when you're creating the task, so you could leave that blank. Once you've done the first top section of this, the very next thing you should do is save this before you proceed. If you get a pop-up asking for your location, go ahead and hit allow. I have denied my location in the past, which is why it's not grabbing it. But go ahead and click Save, and then you can move to the next area. From here, there's other things you can add. Um, if you need to add any line items, maybe you know what the charge is going to be, you could add these items here. These can also be added from the office. But if you do need to add them, if you have a set of customer-specific pricing set, you can hit Load Pricing. However, for a one-off task, you probably just need to select the items that you're going to use. And again, this can be done on the web or the desktop side. So you can hit Add Item, select whatever item you need. It'll tell you it's added. And then hit the Back button to get back to the screen. And if we expand the Items area, we'll see that we now can adjust this item. If we need to add a quantity or make any changes to the pricing, we can click in and adjust those and then click Update. Maybe I want a quantity of two. And then we can hit update. Once you have all the items, the next thing you're going to want to do, if you have to add any pictures, you can. Just click Add Pictures. And on the mobile device, when you hit Choose File, you're going to get a pop-up that asks you whether you want to add an image that you already have saved or if you want to take a new image. Um, so you'll have different options on the mobile side than you will have on the desktop because the mobile devices work a little different. Once you've added any pictures that you need, go ahead and hit save. And the last step really is the footer area. Again, if you get a geolocation area, if you get a geolocation pop-up, you can click allow. I would recommend always clicking allow. I've just denied mine in the past. Now we don't want to complete a ticket. If this is an open task and it's going to be assigned to somebody such as Route 1 driver, uh, we can leave this task open. From here, it's now created. We can now back out of the task because we're not completing it in the field. That task will immediately, if we were to back out and log in as R1 right now, that's why I signed this task to. You'll see that it's showing up right here, task TW1003. It's automatically up on the web for your technician to work. Additionally, when you're ready to sync that task into the desktop, if you go to Sync Mobile Devices, select Tasks from this top drop-down, and then hit Sync. This will do a sync of your tasks. This is a two-way sync. Not only does it push tasks up from the desktop to the mobile side, it's going to pull down any mobile-created tasks to the desktop. This may take a few minutes. You may see not responding. Do not kill the software. Don't force close it if it says not responding. The system will give you a pop-up when it's done or if it has an error. If it has an error, click Chat Now, jump into Tech Support Chat. If it says it's done like this one did, just close this. And if we go to our task screen, we're going to notice that we now have that task I created in the desktop. 
You can tell it was a web created task because it starts with TW. Every web created task starts with TW. Desktop tasks start with a T only. We can double click to go in the task. If we need to make any further changes, add any further comments, reassign it to someone else, change the due date, we can do that all here. And then click close to save those changes and do a sync of tasks again to update the mobile side. Additionally, the line item that I added along with the quantity of two is showing up. And that's all you need to do to make a task on the web. From here, it's just working this task within your normal process.